Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation x power log of x minus 100 x equals to 0. And eventually, we are going to check the answer for any extraneous solutions as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 100x on the right hand side. And here in the next step, I have moved this 100x on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and take a log on both sides. I'm going to take log on this side and log on this side as well. And now let's recall this power rule according to this rule on the left hand side, this exponent log of x, we can move it all the way to the very front. So therefore, the left hand side is going to become log of x and then times log of x equals to and now let's recall this product rule. Therefore, we can write this one log of 100 plus log of x. Now let's focus on this log of x times log of x. That's going to give us log of x whole square. Therefore, the left hand side is going to become log of x whole square equals to now let's focus on this log of 100 and here I have copied it down and now this 100 could be written as 10 power 2 and now let's recall this power rule once again according to this rule this exponent 2 we are going to drag it all the way to the very front so therefore we can write 2 log of 10. And now we can see the base for this log over here is missing. So such kind of log is called common log and by default this base is going to be a 10. Now let's focus on this log of 10 with the base 10. And let's recall this rule. If the base and this argument are same, then the log of this kind of scenario is going to be always equal to 1. So therefore, the value of log of 10 with the base 10 is simply 1. Therefore, the value of log of 100 turns out to be simply 2. So therefore, log of this 100 could be replaced by 2 plus log of x. Now to make our job easier, let's go ahead and make a substitution. I'm going to call this log of x as a u and this log of x u as a well, therefore, let's suppose that u equals to log of x. Then this equation is going to become u square equals to 2 plus u. Let's move everything on the left hand side. And here we moved everything on the left hand side and put in a descending order. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. And now let's focus on this part, negative 1u. This could be written as negative 2u plus 1u. And now we can see over here between first these two terms, u is in common and between these last two terms, positive 1 is in common. So therefore, we can write this thing as u times u minus 2 plus 1 outside as a factor. And we got u minus 2 equal to 0. And now we can see u minus 2 and u minus 2, they are in common. So therefore, we can factor out. So this could be written as u plus 1 times u plus minus 2 rather equals to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate these factors. So this could be written as u plus 1 equal to 0. And on the other side, u minus 2 equal to 0 as well. So therefore, u plus 1 equal to 0 means u is going to be equal to negative 1. And on this side, u is going to be equal to positive 2 value. 
And here I have copied down this u equals to negative 1 value and u equals to 2 value. But we know that our u equals to log of x. And now if we compare these two equations, our log of x is going to be equal to negative 1. Now since we are dealing with this common log, so the base by default is going to be 10. Now we are going to use this uh, conversion rule from logarithmic form to an exponential one. So our this uh, equation could be written as x equals to 10 power negative 1. And this is one of our solutions. And now let's focus on our this equation. We know our u equals to log of x. So therefore this could be written as log of x equals to 2. And once again by default its base is going to be 10. We are going to use this rule once again according to this rule our x value is going to be 10 power 2 or this could be written as x equal to 100. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and check our solutions for x equals to 10 power negative 1 first. Therefore we are going to replace this x value over here and see if the left hand side is equal to right hand side. And here I replaced all x values by 10 power negative 1. And here let's recall this power rule according to this rule I'm going to move this uh, exponent negative 1 to the front. And on the right hand side this 10 power negative 1 could be written as 1 over 10. And since we are dealing with a common log so the base is going to be 10. So the value of log of 10 with the base 10 is going to be 1. And once we simplify we can see the left hand side turns out to be 10 and the right hand side is 10 as well. So therefore this indeed is a true statement. So therefore we conclude that this x equal to 10 power negative 1 is our valid solution. And this solution could also be written as x equal to 1 over 10. And now let's check our solution for x equal to 100 by just uh, replacing x value over here by 100 and see whether left hand side equals to right hand side. And here I have replaced x by 100. And now let's focus on this log of 100. Now let's recall the log of 100 equals to 2 as we did on our previous step. And here I replace this log of 100 by 2 over here. Now we can see the left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side. So this is a true statement. So therefore we conclude that x equal to 100 is our valid solution. So thus our solutions turn out to be 1 over 10 and 100. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.